Good morning, friends. It's Jen. It is June Saturday. It's Saturday. And um, I'm heading out to the store. And I thought I'd go pick up a few things and see if I can do a little... Well, not too much, but um, I'm going to try price matching at Food Max since they do advertise it on their website. And most likely I'll probably get tomatoes and limes. I don't see anything else that the stores have that I would want to price match. But definitely limes and tomatoes because, um, matter of fact, I'll show you really quick. Uh, cost Plus. I keep saying Cost Plus World Market. Costless Food Company has their tomatoes for 48 cents a pound. Grapes are 98 cents a pound and cantaloupes are 88 cents each, which is pretty good. And that's about it. Oh, they have eggs. Their eggs are 78 cents a dozen. So, yeah. That's about it. They have chicken drumsticks, but I'm not looking to get chicken drumsticks. But anyways, friends. Okay, so I'm going to head out. It's going to be very hot today here in California, especially in the Central Valley. I think all of California. It's going to be a triple digit heat today, so I'm going to head out. It's probably barely 8 o'clock in the morning. I finished um, doing my biking this morning. I left about 5.40 or so. And I got in some laps and took a nice shower. And now I'm going to pick up some things for the weekend. Okay, friends. So this is Food Max's uh, website to show that they do ad match. Price match, ad match. Okay. So as I said, I was going to just try an item or two of price matching at Food Max. And yes, they do price match. However, I didn't notice the ad here for Costless. For Costless uh, Food Company, I wanted to price match these tomatoes. 48 cents a pound and uh, Food Max had them for 99 cents or 98 cents a pound. However, when I asked the cashier if they do price match, she says, yes, they do. And she looked at the ad and I didn't notice that this darn ad that came with all the um, current circulars in my mail, it ended on the 13th. I was like, what? Ugh, that was so frustrating. But anyways, I didn't get the um, tomatoes at that price. And the other thing that I did price match was um, O'Brien's. Their limes were 10 for a dollar. And Food Max had them 6 for a dollar. So I went ahead and price matched those. But anyway, so price match, uh, Food Max does price match um, other stores. Just got to make sure that the darn circulars are the correct dates. I don't know how I got this one. Came with the rest of them, but anyways, yeah, I was a bit bummed out. But anyways, it worked out pretty good. So here is my receipt. I got some pasta, some pasta, penne regatta pasta for 99 cents. This here on this side is the actual sale price, and this is the regular price. Yeah, so I got two loaves of bread for $1.79, <clears throat> 24-pack of uh, flour tortillas, $2.79. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one was a shocker. The um, Classico style type of um, um, pesto. This is pesto. They had them two for four dollars, so they were two dollars each. And pesto is never two dollars each, so that was a good one. So I'm low on uh, my dishwashing soap, so I picked up um, some finished Powerball tablets for three seventy nine. And 
right now my husband and my daughter-in-law are really liking ramen soup so i bought a bunch of those i think i got like three dollars worth and this was my biggest right here expense i had to buy a bag of basmati rice for 18.69 and then they had another brand of basmati rice for 10 pounds for 16 dollars and some cents but i figured two more dollars i'll get me another uh 10 pounds so 18.69 for 20 pounds of basmati rice is good and he won't eat plain regular long grain rice it's got to be basmati <clears throat> And then I got a can of diced tomatoes for to make turkey chili. Two cans of tomato paste for 49 cents. That's a really good price. Uh, some more ramen soup. And then I thought I'd stock up on some toothpaste. So I got two tubes of toothpaste with peroxide and baking soda for a dollar. Uh, my husband uses yogurt, so I got him a big thing of yogurt. And then apples were on sale. Let's see, they were 99 cents a pound. Bell peppers were 49 cents each. So it goes up this way. So apples were 99 cents a pound. And the bell peppers are uh, 49 cents each. And then I got two pounds of carrots for 89 cents. Cilantro was 39 cents. Um, cucumbers, those were... 29 cents a pound um 29 cents each i think yeah 29 cents each and then the garlic was three for a dollar and then i got uh quite a few heads of lettuce there were 49 cents regular a dollar 99 so i picked up four of those and there's the limes that i price matched those were regularly um six for a dollar i got them 10 for a dollar because um o'brien's has them 10 for a dollar and let's see red onions were a great price 39 cents a pound you see right here 39 cents a pound for red onions um i got some jalapenos were 99 cents a pound spinach that was a dollar 99 a bunch no it was a dollar 29 a bunch so and there's the Roma tomatoes. They were 89 cents a pound. So, and let's see, I got wheatgrass for Izzy for $1.98. And then they're having a really great price on their ground turkey, Foster Farms. Uh, you get three pounds of turkey for $5.97. So I got six pounds of turkey for about $11 and some cents. So I spent a total of $73.19 today which wasn't, it's not too bad. Um, I'm just going to stretch my food as usual. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to come back out and do any shopping on Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, friends. So I'll show you what the food I bought now that I went over the, um, the uh, receipt with you. Okay, so I just stopped off at CVS because I'm running very low on paper towels. So I picked up a six pack of CVS branded um, paper towels and I did have six dollars in ECBs so it cost uh, seven dollars and ninety nine cents you can see if it focuses and then you see there the CVS manufacturer coupon um, six dollars total in ECBs I gave so our tax here in california is at least in this city 7.87 which is pretty low compared to where i came from before i lived it's not focusing anyways all right it's not focusing
again. So thank you so much for watching and uh, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. And have a great weekend and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.